An absolutely massive update just happened to the MCC. We have the yapping currently happening right now. Custom skulls being added into the game right there. Global matchmaking changes, menu changes, pick rate changes, hit detection improvements. It's all going to be mentioned and also potentially the delay of the content browser. Stay tuned throughout the video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you some more news information involving Halo. If you guys want to stay updated with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap that like button as lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the update here for the MCC. If you want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub feeds can be kind of weird at times. So let's get right into the video here. So if you guys haven't noticed, Yap Yap the Destroyer has taken over the MCC. As you can tell when you first sign in, you have a brand new splash screen coming for you guys right there and then brand new menu screen as well with just Yap Yap sitting on top of his throne with a bunch of little crusts just kind of swaying back and forth, just enjoying his presence that much. And I love it because you know, I love the grunts in Halo, man. They're just hilarious. And my emotes on Twitch for quite a long time for tier one subscribers were having a grunt as an emote. I just love grunts, man. They're just hilarious little guys. And it's so great to see them get a little love here in the MCC. Now with the yapping, you can either be for Yap Yap or against Yap Yap. And the way to show that off is by earning diff two different nameplates that have been added in and you have to do some certain tasks in the MCC to get these nameplates. So one is gonna be the Yap Yap, the destroyer nameplate. This is basically you complete seven social matches using the game category, the Yap in 4v4 and or 8v8 game modes and let me tell you this yy yap yap nameplay looks pretty freaking awesome but there's also against yap yap where you can actually go into some campaign or spartan ops where you get at least 250 headshots on grunts in at least heroic difficulty or higher now me personally i will probably just get in and just do both of these nameplates because they both look fantastic now you're probably wondering what is the yapping well the yapping is a playlist that's been added to the mcc right now where you go in you select that and there's some unique game modes that have been added to it we have head pop party where basically you're playing swat and every time you get a headshot it's a grunt birthday noise that's pretty freaking awesome taking that campaign skull funness bringing it to multiplayer which is pretty great another game mode and that yapping playlist is yapping war games this is a this appears to be a fiesta variant however in addition to spawning with random weapons a random hud element is also missing on each spawn Additionally, each round fired appears to subtract two rounds from the magazine. Players will need to scavenge weapons from fallen foes. Now, the game mode I'm certainly look, looking forward to is Brute Shoot. And the thing about Brute Shoot is obviously everyone spawns with a Brute Shot, but the thing is that it's a bottomless clip with that. And the physic impulses from projectile and explosives appear to be greatly magnified. Launching crates at foes seems to be at least as effective as shooting them directly. We also have methane mosh pit with that one is, this is a king of the hill mode with a single stationary hill. Players can survive a lot of damage, but spawn with needlers with bottomless clips. Super combined explosions from the needlers push players away from the hill or even off the map. Players gravity appears to be reduced while physic impulses appear to be exaggerated. Yap Yap's ball grab, which this appears to function much like a normal multi-ball oddball mode. However, players have launched themselves and their opponents around the map with rockets. We got Beamish Bonanza. This appears to be some form of big team invisible low gravity SWAT vehicle fiesta mode. Now that is a mouthful right there. Players have no shields but have active camo. Players spawn with battle rifle and a random secondary weapon. Vehicle 
spawns are set randomized as well. Players still do appear on radar, so it appears to be the best way to keep track of guys is by looking at that radar. Another addition that throughout the entire MCC is brand new loading screens. You can see an image right here of what Heretic looks like. Yeah, so you got some pretty new additions right there, which I think is very needed. The map name, primary weapon, time limit, score to win, gamer tags in session, loading states as in configuring connecting joining validating loading things like that data center hosting dedicated server of match game type and description more tool tips related to what you are playing as well so just kind of a little funny like little hey don't forget your gun shoots bullets kind of reminders now you also get this in the campaign as well so it will tell you the mission name Difficulty, skulls turned on, gamer tags in session, game type and description, loading states, more tool tips related to what you are playing. A big, big update, which isn't as flashy as you would think it can be, but it's something that's absolutely crucial for the game, and that is the tick rates for these servers have been increased. But if you don't know what a tick rate is when it comes to the server, it's essentially how often a server refreshes the information for you, the player. So basically a higher tick rate means better performance for you. Now, this doesn't mean that if you have a laggy connection to a server, it doesn't mean that you're, you're gonna be a god all of a sudden. It just means that if you have solid connections to the server, that your performance and hit registration is going to be better. Now for the patch notes, some just global changes to start out with. Obviously, we know that the Yap Yap Grunt Rebellion has taken place. A uh, really great addition is the ZZZ icon to noted to idle players. Such a quality of life improvement that it's it's a very, very needed uh, feature for sure. Uh, Halo 1 matchmaking saying that they've reduced the time to 15 minutes for Slayer. Uh, also, the same thing for Oddball as well. Halo 1, 4v4 matches, they've increased the score to win to 75, just so like, I'm sure it'd be just a little more consistent with game times, as you would expect with your more modern Halo games as well. Uh, reduced all time limit to 15 minutes in action sack modes, and to 10 minutes as well on that, but all game modes in CE are going to be 15 minutes for 4v4s. Uh, Halo 4, 8v8. The uh, Slayer reduced time limit to 16 minutes to 15 minutes now. Uh, Halo 2 Hardcore Competitive Games, you'll see that 3 Flag have disabled the turrets on Sanctuary. That's very neat. I don't think you would ever want to have turrets available in competitive ranked mode. And sadly, with Yap Yap coming in, making the yapping happen, actually the infection playlist has been removed for now as a temporary thing as the yapping is taking place and so you zombie players i'm sorry but you're gonna have to miss out on that but honestly i think the infection playlist for the mcc has been lacking quite a bit in like fun game modes so i'm all for this replacement uh so sorry for you guys who are you know zombie fans in the mcc uh so also take note that also they've added in skulls into custom games for halo 2 and so then you can get the grunt birthday party blind skull black eye sputnik boom eye patch foreign grunt funeral recession malfunction streaking and feather skulls have all been added to the custom games which is kind of cool because i've never really had skulls added to custom games so that's a pretty cool addition <sighs> so yeah now we have to get into what's going on for we've talked about everything that's happened with this update now what's going into the future update so as we all know the mcc is going to be getting halo reach here pretty soon flighting programs can be taking place pretty soon so we have a lot going on and we do know that we have a lot that we've been wanting to be improved with the mcc as in the custom get browser and post game conference reports and other things kind of getting improvements we're just getting the custom browser in the first place but it sounds like that the team is going to be heads down, all hands on deck right now with getting reach onto the MCC. So things like the custom browser, current report updates, and other things that we've wanted for the MCC are going to kind of get pushed to the side while the reach updates will be taking place. 
which personally bums me out quite a bit because I really want to get my hands on some of that custom browser awesomeness because it's something I've always wanted with the classic Halos. We never got a custom browser until Halo 5 and it's something I really wanted on the MCC and we just kind of have to wait and I'm pretty sure that's going to be on the back burner for quite some time. But yeah guys, that's a long, long video. I appreciate you sticking throughout the entire video. It's a lot of information I know, but hey, we got to get it all out once here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's know if anyone sees more content like this. Leave a comment down below or your thoughts are on the yapping the April update on the MCC. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, MCC, Halo 5, and also with Reach coming to PC, and also Halo Infinite on top of that, make sure to tap subscribe and with the bell to make sure you stay up to date with anything related to Halo on the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.